Hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah and this channel is all about helping you develop your personal style and in doing so, increasing your confidence. I am fresh off the plane from the Good Clothes Show in Birmingham. I flew there yesterday, got delayed coming back if anybody was following me over on Instagram stories. I got back early this morning and hence why I'm just like in my cozy gear. But I wanted to do this video while everything was fresh in my mind, show you what I bought. Just for anybody who doesn't know the Good Clothes Show, it was the first year of this exhibition and it was all about sustainability, the future of style and fashion, um, secondhand, vintage, upcycled. And it was a fantastic event. I got some nice bits and pieces I'm excited to show you. And I met some great vendors and I'll share with you who they were. So if you wanna go ahead and follow them, please do so. Uh, they're really doing good work for the industry. Everything I have is something I bought myself or swapped. So nothing's gifted uh, and I'm not pushing things just because of that reason. So this is all just stuff that I really liked. I also had the pleasure of stopping by the Janome stand. So as you know, I use a Janome sewing machine and I was delighted to meet some of the people working there and I got to try out an overlocker. So that is something that I've been a little bit scared of, but I've definitely wanted to buy an overlocker and it's, it's in my near future, I would say. So I got to try it out and I'm happy to say that I didn't break the machine and I didn't cut off my finger. So that all worked out pretty well too. And it's not as scary as I thought it was going to be thanks to Jane who showed me around the machine. I haven't even opened my suitcase since I got home, so <laughs> I have forgotten because I, I'm so tired. Uh, I forgot what I bought yesterday. I mean, I have a good idea, but um, it was such a long day. I got up at half four yesterday morning to leave my house and I got back at 1 a.m. this morning. So it was, it was a long day on the go, but I'm glad I went, glad I did it. So let's get into it. So I did bring pretty much an empty case to Birmingham with the exception of four items that I brought for my own wardrobe because I knew there was a swap event. So I swapped out my four items for four new to me items. Cause we all have those items in the wardrobe that are, Still in good nick, but like we're having trouble letting them go. But if we know that we can swap them out for something, you know, of equal value or something that is just better for us in terms of shape or colors or something like that. And that's really what I brought to the event was things that were, you know, there were old items that weren't in my color palette and I really didn't want to wear them anymore. First up, I want to mention, so the brand is called Ultra. It was Ultra Style Hit on Instagram, if you're interested in following, and their motto is extraordinary today, tomorrow, always. And <laughs> this, these really caught my eye. If you were watching my stories, you'll see that I bought a pair of earrings. I was actually wearing them. So they're these kind of hexagonal, white resin earrings. So I thought the white was really good. Uh, they would work with pretty much anything. And if you saw me on my stories, I was wearing them. I just put them straight in my ears. But the other ones that also caught my eye were these. Ah, neon pink. Oh, <laughs> aren't they so cool? I mean, look at those. So you'll notice as well, anything that I bought was in my color palette. And I always, I don't go for dark earrings because they don't stand out against my hair and a good level of contrast is good for me and my color palette. So the white, the neon pink is really good for me. But also, da, 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 these neon green ones. So I made a dress again. If you're following me on Instagram, you'll be more up to date. But I made a, a neon green dress and I was like, ooh, these would go pretty well with my neon green dress. So I love those. And then I got a free pair, which are these kind of little pistachio type of ear colored earrings. And again, they stand out against my hair. They're a little bit more subtle than the neon, but still gorgeous. So I just, I loved talking to the women on that stand. They're into well-being as well, which I love. We have great conversations about that. So I love these new earrings. Next up is Trunk Junkies Vintage. And again, got chatting to the woman who owns that there. Really nice person, really passionate about the future of fashion as well. Uh, I always say this to people, if you're looking 
for good quality belts, leather belts, that kind of thing. Go straight to your vintage or charity shop. Don't buy new ones. They're such great belts secondhand and you know even better they kind of have this lovely kind of worn in effect um, and leather just looks really good when you have that but I got this silver leather belt silver hardware as well so this belt fits perfectly around the width of my hips however I do like to wear my belt sometimes over coats on my waistline that is a good point for me to highlight so what I have at home here is a little leather hole punch and you can buy them really inexpensively just to put a few extra holes in that so that I can wear it on my waist or on my hips. So a gorgeous silver belt to add to my collection. I also bought this men's shirt. So, I mean, clothes don't really have a gender as such. I bought this black and white men's shirt. I just loved the print. I thought that was really fun, but I think it's gonna be really good um, just kind of tied up on the waistline over a bikini on holidays or something, or I might even alter it to fit me. So that was a really nice find as well, I think. One of the first things I bought when I got there is a bikini actually, and it's, it's new. It's from a brand called Capri Swimwear. There you are. Their motto is the timeless swimwear brand that takes sustainability and travel seriously. And I just love the colors again. Colors, you know, that's how I filter. When I'm shopping, I generally filter by colors first because they just stand out. You can't really see the shapes of things so quickly, but colors, you know, they're right in your face. So it's really easy to filter out your shopping by color. And check out the color of this. I just... I cannot wait to wear this on holidays. So the top is a bandeau style. It does come with a strap as well, if that's what you wish to wear. They had this in a one piece as well, but I went for the bikini. And then the bottoms are high-waisted. You can wear them high-waisted or you can roll them down as well. So they, I just love the colors of that. I want the ocean that I swim in to be this color. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. So another gorgeous sustainable brand to look out for. If you're enjoying this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. And thanks to all the regulars for being here also. Now let's get back to the video. Okay, moving over to the other side of the suitcase. This is something that I spotted the first moment I walked into the arena where the show was on. And I said, okay, if that's still there by the end of the day, I'll, I'll look at it again. It was from Peekaboo Vintage and they had such a gorgeous collection. So I got this 100% cashmere jumper and it's from the 90s, black with kind of this slightly off-white stars. And I just thought that was so super soft and a nice fit, good colors. And yeah, I thought that was a really good choice as well. Next up, I'm gonna talk about the swaps that I did. So I brought four items of my own clothes to Birmingham with the hope of swapping them out for something I would wear more. The swap was really fun. And one of the people there that was hosting was Charity Shop Gal, and she was lovely as well to meet. So let me show you what I, I was gonna say, what I bought, what I swapped for. So one of the things is this little sleeveless tie, navy and white polka dot number. Um, again, a summer item that I think would work really well with a nice high-waisted pair of shorts on holidays. Really good condition. Someone else didn't want it anymore and I thought that was really cute. I also picked up this scarf. I like to use scarves to demonstrate contrast. So this would be perfect for someone who's in the summer palette. If I was to demonstrate in a color consultation, uh, what kind of patterns would suit them. So those kind of things I love to use. A lovely item to have for that purpose. Next up, it was the colors that caught my eye here. So you'll notice that I went for these cool pinks, um, kind of wintry pinks really. And one is a dress. Now the dress is definitely going to be too big, but what I liked it for was the fabric because I can imagine myself, there's a good bit of fabric in this. I could definitely imagine myself doing something, upcycling it in some way. I haven't quite figured it out yet, but I will make better use of this than the items that were sitting in my wardrobe. So very excited to figure out what I might do with that. Any suggestions, do let me know. I had the same idea for these jeans. They're pedal pushers and again, you know, I, they're not my style in terms of what I would wear. So I'm thinking of kind of cutting this up and creating a bag 
or indeed incorporating it into another jacket or something. I don't know, I've got all these ideas in my head. They are going to be upcycled in some way. The last thing I want to show you is from secondhand styling. And of course, <laughs> the winter colors caught my eye, lovely black and white print. And it's a little shorts and top combo. Here's a good tip for you. If you are going to this event next year, if it's on next year, I mean, there's a lot to be said for going on the last day and going around, giving yourself to the end of the day to shop as well, because a lot of the vendors are thinking, you know what, let me just do some discounts. They want to pass on a lot of the stuff. So I got that set for 10 pounds and she said, you know what? There was a skirt there as well with the same pattern in it. It's not something I would wear, but I got it all for 10 pounds. That is something I will be upcycling as well. The skirt is just, it's not my style, but the shorts and the little cami top, definitely something I would wear. So hopefully you got some inspiration there to think differently about maybe how you shop and that there are other alternatives out there to always buying new. The most sustainable option is always the things that are in our wardrobe already. The next most sustainable, of course, is, you know, swapping, uh, shopping vintage or secondhand, but also making sure that you, when you do buy, that you're buying things in your color palette that work for your lifestyle, that work for your body shape, that work for your personality, so that when you do buy them, you have those items for a long time. And then finally, when you do shop for new items, that you're ticking all those boxes as well. We always wanna be making sure that we are buying with the intention of having these things for a long time to come. That's it for today's video. I do hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you again next week with another video. Thanks for watching. Bye.